Jane here. This is video 7 in the series Balancing the 7 Chakra Energy Centers. Just as a reminder, I just want to say that 95% of our problems in life is due to emotional stress. These emotions then can be stored in your cells, affecting you physically, mentally, and emotionally. The purpose of this whole video series was to educate you and to give you tips and tools so that you yourself can balance out your own energy centers. Today I want to talk about the crown chakra, which is situated on the top of your head. This energy center is affected in your lifetime if you've had forced religion, blind obedience, or you withheld or, or miscommunicated information. If that happens to a person, then energy can be deposited in a deficient amount or in an excess amount. If there is a deficient amount of energy in your crown chakra, then you can have a strict belief system, you can become quite dominating, and you can have cognitive disorders. If there's too much energy in your crown chakra, you then become disconnected from your body, and you become so intelligent that I can barely have a conversation with you. The physical problems that are associated with your crown chakra are migraines, uh, right eye problems such as floaters, uh, learning difficulties, and even problems with your brain. The techniques or things that you can do to help balance out your seven chakra is physical exercise, a spiritual exercise, a contemplation, a meditation, and even wearing the color violet is very healing to the seven chakra. That's it for chakra seven. I want to thank you so much for joining me through this series. It's been a pleasure to educate you and to give you some tips to work with. As a closing remark, I just would like to say that I believe that at the center of all of our conflicts lacks a, a level of self-love and self-esteem. If we can learn how to balance out these two inner resources, then we ourselves can regain our health physically, mentally, and emotionally. I would like to encourage you to join me in one of my upcoming courses that speaks specifically about this, how to balance out the seven chakras, and how to find tips and tools so that you yourself can get back your self-esteem and your self-love. And the title of that course is How Your Psychology Becomes Your Biology. I want to thank you for joining me through this series. It's been an absolute pleasure to be with you. Thank you.